Hello, I'm Entrism and welcome to Let's Try Dungeons 2. So Dungeons 2 is a game that's coming out, I believe, on the 24th of this month. Uh, so nine days from now. Uh, and it's basically a sort of Dungeon Keeper-esque in that you get to be a bad guy, building a dungeon, defending it from heroes, controlling all the minions, being evil, collecting loot, treasure, whatever. And then occasionally you can go to the overworld, and the overworld is a bit more like an RTS, uh, where you can like order around your orcs and you can get them to attack things. And you know, I find it kind of interesting, so I thought, you know, let's look at this and uh, I can play the first few missions. I believe I can play missions 1, 2, 3... No, 1 to 5. 1, 2, 5, not 1, 2, 5. Uh, Anyway, I can play missions one to five, so I was like, you know, let's let's play this. Uh, let's try. It might be interesting to you. I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. I really do like the you know ability to be a bad guy, uh, and it kind of reminiscent of things like Dungeon Keeper, except for the fact that I've never played Dungeon Keeper, really outside of trying to emulate it on a machine which it was a little bit unstable on. So for a lot of you, probably interesting. Me, kind of missed that one. Uh, anyway. Jumping to the campaign, uh, mission one is mostly a tutorial about, like, move here, click here, etc. Um, I think I'm going to skip that. The, the point really behind that is just the basic move controls and the fight controls. You do have the ba backstory of, oh, the evil man goes to war with the good people, and then he's banished, and wakes up somewhere. That's the backstory. That's all you need to know. There's plenty of pop culture references, like references to Lord of the Rings, The Terminator, uh, what else? Lord of the Rings, M many others. So, it's got a good sense of humor. Right, let's go with A New Hope. Uh, yeah, there we go. Star Wars reference. Play. The last remaining heroes of the country joined forces and cast a powerful banishment spell. The absolute evil disappeared from sight with a threatening gesture and a faint whispered, could be heard coming from its lips. The absolute evil had been banished and its essence shattered into several pieces. Its reign of terror had ended. The good people of the overworld rejoiced and an era of peace began for the Alliance. The evil creatures were driven back into the underground, doomed to serve as cannon fodder for pleasure-seeking adventurers. Meanwhile, Secreted away in the world's most inaccessible places, the last remains of the absolute evil were resting, never again to see the light of the overworld. Until today, that is. Somewhere deep under the earth, the ultimate evil awoke. Okay, so yes, there we go, we've awoken. We look a lot like Sauron uh, from Lord of the Rings. There also happens to be a ring nearby, so, you know. And the hand of terror arose, controlled by the ultimate evil. So instead of an eye, we get a hand. Come on, hand of terror! Arise, damn you! Methinks that exploring the surrounding area would be a sensible strategy. However, to do this, light would be required. An evil can't I see at night. Also, it's a light already. Hmm. Still not bright enough. Ow, okay, too An bright. Old throne room was Dark room, bright light. light. Ow. The circumstances remained a mystery. The hand of terror flew through the throne room, following each and every thought the ultimate evil had. After a few flying sessions, the ultimate evil was able to control the hand with ease. The time had come to call forth creatures who were completely devoted to it and would do its dirty work. Thank you very much. Little right, so snots can... were the dregs of each and every dungeon and spent their time taking care of it. The expansion mad evil hired one snot on the spot. Done. The first little snot Sneffle. appeared. It was completely ready to work in the dungeon and to crawl in the dust before the ultimate evil. Hello, Sneffle. Little snots were important to the ultimate evil because they took care of many important little things, such as excavating new areas. The psionically gifted evil could sense the presence of something important that was buried to the south. It instructed its little snots to dig in that direction. As quick as a fart, the little snot made his way to the marked position and began to Work dig. faster. Behold, the creatures oh, of the give me a chance to talk. had apparently been much more industrious than it had thought. Let's, let's, a like, great dungeon was that. revealed behind so if you're... the wall. If... Can we just get him to shut up? Right, options. Is there a way to make him shut up? Dialogue volume. Apply. There we go. 
Right, so uh, if you're familiar at all with Dungeon Keeper, you'll recognize the fact that there are gold! Gold rocks which have gold, which was kind of, you know, in the description of it. Uh, so, we're going to try and, you know, mine them, we'll get some gold out of them. And this one in the center is a special type of gold rock, and this gold rock here, like, you can't destroy it. All you can do is just repeatedly mine it for gold. And you get less gold, but you get it constantly. It doesn't, you know, disappear. It's not uh, expendable. And I can hit people to make them work faster. Everyone knows that if you abuse snots, they work faster. And if you paint red stripes on the side of vehicles, they go faster as well. Uh, let's... Do we want to do that? I don't know. Uh, we'll just put ones in there for the moment. Mine the gold. Okay, we're mining the gold. Probably shouldn't mine that because it's distracting, but okay, whatever. Look faster! Nearly done. I kind of do like the art style. It's very sort of cartoony. Uh, you want me to build a treasury. So, you need to build a treasury for keeping your gold. It's like, oh, you want to build a treasury here? Okay, sure. Personally, I'd like you know, rather build a treasury here. It's like, you know, further back, safer. We'll expand it. We'll make it bigger. Right. Oh, you want me to... Uh, okay, cool. You know, we'll open up there, and we're going to be digging something there. I don't know what we're going to be putting there. Ooh, what's this? Is this a trap? Like, morning stars attached to a spinning... Ooh. That looks dangerous. So, uh, this is actually reminiscent to me of a game that uh, I... Ooh, what are you? Regeneration rate plus two. Um, well, these aren't fighty dudes. When we get a fighty dude, we'll use it. So I'll put it up here for now. It's reminiscent to me of a game uh, called Evil Genius, which is effectively the Dungeon Keeper type game, but you play an Evil Genius out of like a Bond film or whatever. And that kind of resonated with me, because I, I really like uh, I, you know, really like James Bond and so on. And uh, being able to play the Evil Genius out of a James Bond film is kind of really cool, especially with the whole sort of camp sort of well, that 70s vibe it had going on, a bit like a sort of Austin Powers James Bond vibe. I've got a lot of gold coming in now. Yay. Oh, can I pick the gold up? Oh yeah! Right, uh, what do you want me to build? A brewery and hire a little snot. Oh, hit a little snot. Okay. Ah! Take that. I've been doing that already. Right, you want me to build a brewery. So, it'll be on production buildings, brewery. Bam. Right. Oh, I have to put a, oh, I have to put a copper kettle in. I have to do all the work here. These guys... Pff. We could expand it. I think we'll expand it as well. Right, so I believe this means we can now get orcs. When it lets us. Thank you for all the notifications. Can I just like right click them to get rid of them? Yes, I can. Orc! Yay! So, orcs, uh, well, all units, I think, get paid out of your gold stockpiles. So you got to keep getting gold. But orcs also need uh, things like beer, and you have beer down here being made by this uh, distillery. So, we'll just expand this room and. Uh, we need to build five orcs, so in fact we've just got to wait for this time to tick down, make sure we've got enough gold to be able to pay them. So we'll get another one, and I think we're going to need to desperately search for some more gold. So that'll be gold there. Is there any more gold up here? No. I demand they start doing these uh, rocks, which I believe are like, you know, repeatedly like generating gold rock things. Come on, faster. Faster. Right, ooh, my orcs are doing something. I think the orcs, like, improve the, the sides of the walls or something. Like, that looks like it's improved or something. Like, they're meant to be fighters, but they also do do, like, you know, some useful stuff occasionally. Come on, faster, I need more gold. Faster, I want to see what you're doing. Right, I can expand this room now, which is now going to be ridiculously sized. Hey -o. Oh, I need gold for that. Alright, we'll do that later. Uh, Alright, okay. Um, oh, there we go. They've got like Palisade type stuff with dangerous spikes. That's surely that's not. A, like, that, that doesn't look safe to me. That looks like health and safety might have an issue with it. Um, ooh, what? Gold oh. A bit low on gold. Hopefully, we won't get paid anytime soon. There we go. Got more money now. Alright, so grab that, grab that, grab that. Grab that. Grab that, grab that, grab that. 
We're going to get these like that. We need more gold. Bring me more gold, Squire. Come on, work faster. Very thirsty. A typical troop member of the anonymous alcohol is known as the Horde. Okay, so they're going to... Ah, so he gets bored and stuff, right. I think they get bored and then they have to go, like, quench their thirst or something. Ooh, spider's nest! <gasps> spider's nest! We need to kill it. Where, where, are the, where are the orcs? You're an orc. You're an orc. You're an orc. Right, come with me. Come with me. Fight! We also need another orc, so... There we go, and we've got five orcs. Defeat the spider's brood. That shouldn't be too hard. Looks like we're winning already. Fight faster! And I'm hitting them, like, reducing their HP in the middle of battle. It's probably not a good idea. Probably just, you know, let them do their thing. Yay! Dismiss a creature. Um, okay, I don't really want to dismiss, like, any of my snots, because they're doing a pretty good job. You're trained. Where's the dude who I, like, I hired and didn't get to fight? Lazy guy. Hello, vlog. Bye. Oh, that didn't... Let me try this again. Sorry. It's a very small hitbox. There we go. Ah, take that. Right. Build more treasuries. Expand your brewery. Uh, let's build more treasuries then. Oh, I could probably increase... Yeah, include that. And I've got to expand the brewery. Fine. Is that big enough? Yeah, it's big enough. Cool. Okay, well, we can expand it more if we wanted. Uh, dig south. Sure. Start digging, boys. We haven't got much money. We could do with more. Um, maybe some more snots are in order. Like, I've got two population spare, so... One... What's the hotkey for that? Is it, like, home? Yeah! And more snuff. There we go. Okay. Sorry, but you can't hear the dialogue very well. I mean, I don't really want this guy talking over me all the time. Like, you heard how annoying he could be at the beginning of the game. I was trying to hope that he would not be as bad as I, you know, but... What's this? Chance of landing a critical hit plus five. What I think we do is we just make some, like, super elite. And give them both. So, you know. Cascada? You look reasonable. No one's got, like, a nickname yet. Like, you guys can get nicknames like Spider Killer and stuff. So, I think we'll just, uh... Did you get one of those? I think you got one. Cascada, the lucky finder. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Spider Queen, Spider Queen, Spider Queen, Spider Queen, Spider Queen. Right. We need to kill the Spider Queen. You're not full health, but you'll have to do. Right, um... Sorry! Fight the spiders, then go kill the spider queen. Come on, Cascade, the lucky... That, that's not killing the spider... There we go. Lazy buggers, come back here! Come on, fight, fight, fight! Oh, poor Bush, Doc. He came into this injured already. At least she's spreading the damage now. That means I get... To oh, no. She's not spreading the damage anymore. And he died. Okay, quickly, quick. Make more. Make more. Not enough population available. Why, why is not enough population available? Oh, there it is now. Okay, bam. He just needed to die properly or something. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Oh, we killed him! Yay! I knew Cascade would, uh, you know, do me proud. Cascade the lucky finder. 
Most of the service is now open. At the time to build the veggies plans to press you, I leave to take the opportunity to uh, uh, really send a still out. But unfortunately, physical statement is uh, inevitable. Uh, instead, the narrator will be sent a still out on his behalf. Oh, well, here goes deep breath. <laughs> See, I can do I do a narrator for you. No, you don't need the narrator when you've got me. This is a very hard game to YouTube because that guy's like, I'm trying to speak over the top of this guy. And then I'm like, no, no guy. And then it's like, the cutscenes don't make sense. And it's like, oh, now the cutscenes don't make sense. It's got some really good uh, narrations. Some of the lines are genuinely funny, although some of them come a little bit, a bit, you know, trying too hard, maybe. But uh, all in all, you know, I think it's, it's pretty funny. But the shame is, like, I, I kind of have to turn him off. Right, so let's do King Robert Has to Die. But that'll be in the next episode. So this has been Dungeons 2, a let's look at. It will be coming out on the 24th of April, uh, 2015, for those of you getting into this particularly late. Catch you then, and if you enjoyed the video and like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing, and stay shiny.